Hi, and welcome to 4-Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. In this video, we'll show you how you can change column property types, hide columns, and make columns reappear in a database in Notion. Now, Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. Subscribe to 4-Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. Sometimes you may start working with a database and you realize you need to change things around a bit. And Notion is extremely flexible. And one of the things you can change is the type of information you have in a column. So let's use our ideas to consider database that we've been working with. And you'll find perhaps you were typing in the same information again. Dates, or perhaps in notes you're writing completed again and again. And it, it comes to mind that maybe there's a more efficient way to do this. Now, uh, for example, on date, one of the problems is when I have a uh, date and it's a text field, as you can see, I'm inconsistent in the way that I mark my dates. In addition, I would never be able to sort or find any information by date because of that inconsistency. However, I can click on date here and I can change the property type to a date. Now, what does happen though is for dates that were inconsistent or could not be read, uh, those dates disappear. Now, they're not really gone. If you were to go back to text, they're all here. So that way, if you wanted to, you could copy them correctly into the right spot and then you could worry about it, right? You could not worry about it. Then it would be all set. However, if you had a lot of data, um, it may make more sense to insert a new column and then work with that. And then you can decide whether you want to hide this column or not. So let's say you want to hide this column. You go to hide, and that column is gone. Now, if you want to make that column reappear, the data is not gone. You click on the three dots up here, hit properties, and then hit the toggle switch, and it all is back. So, uh, so I think that's a useful thing. Now, from a property type, You've got all of these options here. Text, number, select, multi-select, date, person, files, checkbox, URL, email, and phone. Most of these are self-explanatory. There's a couple of things to know. One is on number. If you use number, it's going to put a column total at the bottom, which is useful in many cases. Uh, for select, you would set a discrete set of options, um, and then you can pick one of those options and select. In multi-select, you, you set a discrete set of options, but you can pick one or two or as many options as you have for a multi-select. Uh, and then person, email, and phone may only make sense once you're collaborating with other people in Notion. There are some advanced things, uh, formula, relation, and roll-up, which we will explore in a future video. Now, if you've never set up a Notion database, and uh, this is new to you, you may want to check out our earlier videos about getting started, about uh, setting up a database or creating a database, and about two ways to add data to your database. But uh, property types uh, are an important part of setting that up correctly, and it may take you a little while before you figure out exactly the property types that you need. But once you set those property types, it's important because it then allows it all to be sortable or filtered by those property types, which is very, very useful. So that's how you change property type uh, in columns. Uh, that's how you hide and unhide columns in Notion. Thanks. We hope that you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there are any other questions about Notion or anything else you want a quick answer to, leave it in the comments below. See you soon.